Continuing the lineage of great Celtics big men, Dave Cowens played the game with a fury. As a scorer, rebounder, and rabbit defender, a league most valuable player, he helped lead Boston to two titles in 1974 and 76. Dave Cowens, when he was drafted, you know, why is Red Auerbach drafting this guy from Florida State and he needs a center? Well, you found out real quick, no one played with more intensity and commitment in the game of basketball than Dave Cowens. And look at Cowens hustle on the beat. He is like a man possessed out there. I remember the first time I played against him, I remember Heinsohn had told me just how tough a player he was. I was coming back from an injury, and I figured I would, uh, you know, try him out. So I remember jumping on his back for an offensive rebound, and he, and Collins almost knocked me out, okay? <laughs> and we were in practice, and I got the message really clearly that uh, he was not going to put up with that from his teammates in practice, and he certainly didn't put up with it in the actual games. Blocked by Collins. It's a nation basketball player, ran the court. Uh, that's where he had an asset over a lot of a lot of big paid players that he played against. He could outrun him, outjump him, you know. And, and to me, Dave's, you know, I think, and I think Dave at one time got tired of basketball, and then he, he started driving a cab for about a year or so. <laughs> But you got to know Dave. Great guy, man. I love the man. Dave Collins was, uh, geez, I remember the 74 finals, the 76 finals, watching him on TV, begging my mom that I could stay up in 74 to watch the finals, which was taped delayed in Minnesota. And I had to stay up till like, you know, 1230 to watch the game. And love Dave Collins. Dave Collins, you had to try to shade because you know he was tougher than you. You know he was stronger than you. Um, I remember the first time playing against Collins, shaking his hand at, the, at half court. He takes his jersey out and spits in his jersey and rubs it in his chest. I'm like, my, what? This guy doesn't care about himself. Why does he care about me? Alan, who has been a reign of terror here so far. Standing at 6'9", Dick Howens was first viewed as undersized at the five, but another sub seven foot center gave him that stamp of approval. Well, Bill Russell told the Celtics, hey, draft this guy to Florida State. He hustles. And if I told you there was a player in the NBA that grabbed 32 rebounds in one game, had a lifetime career average of, of 13 rebounds a game, you say, oh, that's pretty good, you know, pretty good for that time, particularly in the golden age of centers. And then when if I said, well, that player is only six foot nine, you're like, whoa, that's really good. And Dave Collins made up for his height with hustle. Both, both ends of the floor, grabbed rebounds, ran the floor very well, passed, passed the ball very well, was named the NBA MVP in 1973, won two championships with the Celtics. Now, this was after the Bill Russell era in the 1970s. So the one-time fourth overall pick had some interesting work alternatives to basketball. Well, when you think about it, I mean, he was a little bit of a different guy. Just for kicks, he decided to drive a taxi cab in Boston. Now, I mean, he paid the $35 fee. He had several runs that night, and nobody recognized him. Maybe it was because he wasn't tall enough. Mm. And then, months after winning the 1976 championship, he felt kind of burnt out, so he left the Celtics eight games into the following season. Can you imagine that? He went home to the family farm in Kentucky and sold Christmas trees. Then he got bored doing that, came back to the Celtics, and led them to the playoffs that year. Wow, the walking double-double for the C's consistently delivered gifts for that franchise. Well, I remember when we were playing the, uh, the Cleveland Cavs in the playoffs, and they had, you know, they had a big front line of Nate Thurman and Jimmy Jones and, and, and Brewer. And really, you know, uh, for two or three games, they had really, you know, been very competitive. The series was tied at 2-2, and we went in the locker room, and. You know, coaches always like to give, you know, you know, you know, a, a pregame talk and strategy and all those things. And Tommy Hankson got up to give the strategy of how we were going to play the game and how we were going to play each guy. And they just stood up and said, you know what, Tommy, you know, this is what it is. I got this guy, John got this guy, Paul got this guy, Charlie got this guy, and Joe got this guy. We each beat our guy playing and we'll win the game. Bob pass Collins inside of Lambert. Inside to Collins, into the lane, jump hook. And that's what we went out there and did. And that's how we played the game. The idea that we each would beat out the individual that we were playing against and we would win the game. And that's the type of individual he was. <laughs>